cooking on a budget does not have to be boring. Actually, it can be quite exciting. Today we're making one of my favorite dishes. It's grilled beet tips with avocado cream and tomato salsa. This dish features a flat iron steak. Have you tried one yet? They're fantastic. It's kind of a cross between a New York strip for flavor and the tenderness of a filet mignon. It's cut from the chuck and there's only two per cow. The name flat iron came from the shape of the steak. It kind of looks like the bottom of an iron. We'll start by dicing it up in about one inch pieces. The marinade is simple with a little red wine and some Dijon mustard. And we'll bring it together with a whisk. Now we'll place our flat iron beef tips into a zippy bag. We'll add our marinade. We'll seal, shake, pop it in the fridge for at least 20 minutes. Two hours even better. Now the avocado cream is very simple and can be made up to four hours ahead. Make sure you use a ripe avocado. It should be firm yet give slightly to the touch, kind of like a ripe banana. We'll insert our knife and turn and then twist to reveal the seed. We'll use a spoon to pop out the seed then we'll scrape it out with a spoon. We'll place it in a bowl and then we'll give it a mash with a fork. Next we'll add some sour cream, some salt, fresh cracked pepper, a few drops of lime juice, and we'll bring it together. And we'll place this into a dish and we'll set it in the fridge. The tomato salsa is just as easy. Start by removing the top of the tomatoes, and we'll use the best tools in our kitchen, our fingers, to squirt into the tomato to remove the seeds. The seeds and juice have no flavor, just take away from the flavor of the tomato. Now since the center of tomatoes also has no flavor, we're gonna kinda cut around it and just remove the outer part of the tomato. Next, we'll do a thin slice using a rolling chop. We'll turn and make a fine dice. Now, the recipe also calls for some sweet red onions, so we're only going to remove about a third or a quarter of it. And we'll remove one layer of the outer peel. We'll lay it flat. We'll take our knife and come in and make some really thin julienne slices, but not all the way through because you want it to maintain its shape while you're dicing. Next, we'll come in about halfway up a slice and then we'll do a nice small dice. Now don't add too much on it. You can always add more but it's hard to take out. Now we're using fresh cilantro and please don't skip the step of soaking it in cold water. It's loaded with sand particles. We'll just pop off some leaves leaving the stem behind which is bitter and tough and we'll give it a chop. Add it to our tomato salsa. We'll add just a few drops, not a lot, of the lime juice and we'll give it a toss you can pop this in the fridge too. Again, this can be made up to four hours ahead. Let's place our marinated steak tips on a hot grill. And we'll discard the marinade. Now, if you don't have a grill inside or it's raining outside, this can actually be done in a skillet in the house. We're going to grill these for about three, four minutes per side. Because they're tips, they're going to cook pretty quick. When they look and smell good, let's put them on a plate and we'll set them aside to rest. Now it's important you let them rest, all steaks, after they're done grilling. All the juices are in the middle of the steak. Letting them rest, the juices naturally come back out to the flesh of the meat. Now the best part about the dish is presenting it. The bed is going to be lettuce. I'm using Boston today. We'll face the leaves facing each other. Next we'll place a layer of our avocado cream on top of the lettuce. We'll top with the beef tips. Next is the tomato salsa. If you want to run over onto the plate, like it's drifting, and then some cilantro leaves. Now even though they're not going to be eating the cilantro, it adds a great aroma to the dish while they're enjoying it. Have fun with this one, and we'll see you next time.